Yeah. I needed to hear that shit. I hate when you're submissive. Passive aggressive when we're texting. I feel the distance. I look around and pierce and surround me. These niggas tripping. I like when money makes a difference, but don't make you different. Started realizing a couple places I could take it. I want to get back to when I was that kid in the basement. I want to take it deeper than money, pussy, vacation. And influence a generation that's lacking the patience. I've been dealing with my dad, speaking a lack of patience. Just me and my old man getting back to basics. We've been talking about the future and time that we wasted. When he put the bottle down, girl, that nigga's amazing. Well, fuck it, we had a couple Coronas. We might have wrote a white paper, just something to hold us. We even talked about you in our couple of moments. He said we should hash it out like a couple of grown-ups. You a flower child, beautiful child, I'm in your zone. Looking like you came from the 70s on your own. My mother is 66, and a favorite line that hit me with is who the fuck wants to be 70 and alone? Y'all don't even know what you want from love anymore I search for something I'm missing and disappear when I'm bored But girl, what qualities was I looking for before? Who you settling for? Who better for you than a boy, huh? I'm loving your life, vulnerable Letting your guard down, it's honorable Especially when the past ain't been that Friendly to you, but there's magic in that You the fly that I gotta protect To keep alive in the winter time Hey, don't you die yet You've been way more than a friend of mine We more like fam I raised you, you raised me Let's turn this whole life around You can confide in me I can take the weight up off your shoulder blades And try to store the pain inside of me Hey, why the world do you like that? Like they don't know you God sent for me I view you like that I'm sneaking glances Thanking God that he drew you like that Beautiful black child Come and shed your black cloud For your vibe and your smile I don't mind a little rain I'm your dog, ears purple, pet the sun in your name, counting your man. Wow, I can handle your flame, download your shame. Wow, how I can drown in your fragrance. You that red pill that I found in the matrix. Before I had you, this was fantasy. You plant a seed, it grows some roots, a branch and leaves becomes a tree of life. Until our nights are filled with peace from stress and strife. And that's the blessing that I get from wife and you. Cause you entrusted me with the key to your heart, beating you small. Cause even though I need a new start, due to my past transgressions, you believe. To me. I guess the light I see in you is what you see in me, Lord hmm. They see from the west side, mm, and she see my best side mm. How many of you can honestly look yourself in the mirror and say, I am doing my best? Because if you can you're fucking lying to yourself. Your job right now and how you execute that job is going to create the success habits that you're going to need down the road. How you do one thing is how you do everything. If it's making fries, if you ain't making the best motherfucking fries every fucking time, guess what? You ain't gonna fucking make it. If you can't sweep the warehouse floor better than the next guy, you ain't gonna fucking make it. Because here's the truth, losers, always talk about how they hate to lose, but they don't do anything about it. But you know what winners do? Winners will do whatever the fuck it takes. Winners will show up and stay late every fucking day until they're winning. Winners will talk to anybody they can that can help them and take the lessons to heart and put them in play. That's what winners do. Losers talk about hating to lose. Losers say they hate to lose. Losers talk about how they want to win. Winners do what the fuck it takes. And that means beating the next guy. If you aren't going to work at your job every day and looking at all the other motherfuckers and thinking, dude, I'm going to beat the shit out of all of you, you don't have what it takes. Winners want to be the best. Winners have pride in being the best. Winners have pride in being dominant amongst their teammates. All men are created equal. Some just work harder. You want to know what it takes to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. It's what goes on when the cameras go off. Hard work, determination, and grit. You will not outwork me. I will get up earlier than you. I will go to sleep later than you. I will put in more hours than you. I will read more than you. I will grow. I will do whatever it takes. I do things to separate myself from everybody. The passion that I have when I speak. The grind that I have when I do what I do. What are you going to do to separate yourself? 
And if you ain't got more heart than me, if you ain't been working harder than me, if you ain't sacrificed more than me, I'm going to destroy you. And I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care how many games you won. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. You're not giving 120. You're giving 70. You're giving 60. And you won't with these people who've given sweat, who's given blood, who's given tears. You want what they paid for and it ain't free. It has everything to do with what time you wake up. It has everything to do with how you eat. It has everything to do with how you work out, how you prepare. It has every single thing to do with how you think. And when you want it as bad as you want to breathe says, I'm willing to make any sacrifice. I'm willing to go through any pain. I'm willing to go through any suffering. I'm willing to go through whatever it takes. So when I get in there and it's me and him one on one, that I guarantee you at the end of it, I won't be the one that surrendered. And if you're going to be the best, the cream of the crop, if you're going to be the apex, you got to be it. It has to consume you. You got to learn how not to give up or how not to give in. And you got to understand that greatness is within you. And you got to pull it out. You got to climb every mountain. You got to cry if you got to. But whatever you do, you cannot give up. You cannot give in. Nobody ever said it would be easy. But I know greatness is within you. And you got what it takes is a lot different than motivation. Because if I said right now, everybody in here, everybody, we're all gonna run a half marathon in five days. All of us, and we all going, yeah, we're getting fired up. I said, yeah, we're gonna start tomorrow at 5 a.m. and everyone's hugging each other. Yes, 5 a.m. We leave, 5 a.m. comes. It's dark, it's cold, our bed is comfortable. It's hard to get motivated at five in the morning. And maybe you do it one day, but again, and again, you go do it again and again. That is the x-ray vision. It's seeing through your broken bones to get to your goal. You have to train your brain by doing things that make you uncomfortable consistently to build this mindset that when things get hard, which they will be, we don't shy away, we don't quit, we attack. I'm seeing through all those walls. I'm getting to where I wanna go. You see, I've learned everybody on the face of this planet, they want something. Everybody that comes into this world, they want something. Everybody wants greatness. Everybody wants excellence. But the question is, what are you willing to go through in order to get it? What type of dedication? What type of commitment? What type of sacrifice? I, I tell people all the time, if this is not your vision, if you don't see this as part of your real contribution, if it doesn't make you fully alive and express, and it's your real goals, bail. Quit sooner than later. But if you know it's right for you, then resilience is everything. The ability to be resilient toward your dreams, to keep marching on, win the struggle, the trial, the chaos, the frustration, the hurt, the anger, the disappointment, the shame, the regret, the embarrassment. When all that is there and you keep marching on, you know you'll be a successful person. It's the ability to be optimistic enough to know this too shall pass. This time shall change. I will find a way. I will honor my truth and keep pursuing my dreams thick and thin, storm or night. I will maintain my march. Mental toughness says, not only do I climb that doggone mountain, I enjoy climbing the mountain. I get a kick out the mountain. I get a kick out the weights. I get a kick out of going up against the number one team. I get a kick out of fatigue. I get a kick out of the grind. I get a kick out of it. I hope that you understand that every single person that you look at, every single person that you admire, every single person that you aspire to be like is literally just a regular human fucking being like you you that has worked their mother ass off. Now it's gonna be hard. Understand that. It's gonna be very hard. But you ain't got nothing else to do. Cause let me tell you something about being not successful. Being not successful, that's really hard. So you might as well apply yourself to something that has a benefit. And what some of you doing wrong, you play the game, but you not the game. You play football, but you not football. You gotta go all in. You take advantage of this opportunity. You let everything else go. You eat different. You study different. You practice different. That is something that is built and ingrained into a successful person, not because they were lucky with it, not because they grew up with it, because they developed it. By doing it once, they did it again, they did it again, they did it again. The more bold and courageous you are, the more bold and courageous you'll be in the future. The more confident you are today, the more confident you'll be in the future. The more you overcome yesterday's struggles today, the more you'll be able to overcome the bigger struggles tomorrow. Never forget these things. Keep marching, my friend.